Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jazabel and we are on the Oasis server touring Serenth's entry to the Retreats of the Rulers contest. Uh, hopefully I said your name right. Um, sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Anyway, Serenth's home is under Medium Homes. Um, it is Antonia's Secret Apartment by Serenth, ROTR 2015. Um, if you want to visit it in, from Kinos, it is at 15 Tranquil Way. So let's go to Medium Homes, drop our sort by newly published, and there it is. So we'll take a little look around and see how things go. I did turn back on my music for these tours. I'd forgotten I'd turned it off actually, um, but I think it might be a little bit loud compared to me speaking. I don't know. So I'm going to turn it down as soon as we finish something. still on, just not. And where's my personal torch? It's a little dark in here and I want to... Lighting, here we go. Oops. Personal torch. Let's turn that. Okay, let's save the presets because... There we go. So this is the entrance to the house. Very cute. It's a little courtyard. Here's a throne with a book, a note to visitors. And it is, um, it was written by Serenth, but it's supposed to be in Antonia Bale's voice. So go ahead and take a nice little read through of it when you come visit. And we will move on to, let's hook our heads, uh, well I thought that might be like email that was you know, telling me somebody had said something on the forums, but nope, it was just Cl Clash of Clans telling me that something was going on. So ignoring that, and we're going to go back to touring this, whoops, a little bit of lag. Very nice, one of the rare trees right here, the um, Calm Forgotten Pool Sproutling from the, the events that you can no longer get. Here's a little washroom with a nice old-fashioned toilet. Let's go back out. And let's see, we went that way. Let's go downstairs first. And so here we have the. Oop! Lagged! Lagged and teleported. That wasn't fun. So this is cute. It's just a nice little setup with a custom built. With some custom built furniture. And some items for entertainment, including uh, musical instruments. And here's a dining table over here, nice, small, cozy, intimate set area. And the kitchen. Quite an extensive kitchen. Very nice. Oh dear. It's dinging. That was unexpected. I've had my sounds off for so long that I, I jumped a little bit when that happened. Okay, so... This is the 
kitchen area. We see a lot of different foodstuffs here. Very nice. Egg in a pot. I like how, how she did that. And I like how the top of the stove matches the uh, drawers right here. I guess they must be oven or wood, wood, where the wood goes, one or the other. I'm not quite sure. Very nice. So that's downstairs. Let's go back and look at the door that we missed before we head upstairs. Come on, let me through. There we go. So this door leads to another garden area. Very nice. A little swing and a vegetable patch. Very cute. I like this. Let's head back in and let's go upstairs. Oh, there's the clock. So we must have been standing underneath the clock when it rang. Okay. And here is the main living area for this secret apartment. Here is a desk with a computer, a lot of books, some maps. I, I always like it when people use the paintings to create scenes in the windows. And in this one, especially, a very good job has been done turning it into um, scenes as if you're looking out the window and it's, you know, at street level. That's really neat. More desks. Hey, bookends! I love bookends. Awesome. I love this central fireplace too that separates the two areas, the office from the bedroom. It's really cozy and it works quite nicely. I mean, it's useful, but it also makes a great wall. And in here, bedroom of course, with all of the linens folded. More seating and curtains! I like how the mirror matches the scones, which match the, uh, the chest that's used as the cabinetry and the, the uh, bowl. Excellent job. What is this? Oh, it's a candle. So the candle is deep enough in the water that the water uh, blocks out the light texture. Or source, whatever, whatever it's called in the actual game industry, whatever. Yeah, basically it hides the fact that, the, that there's a, a candle there because it looks like it's just nice, nice. So here you can see there was no water to block it, so you can actually see the candlelight. Oh, and then hanging the, the towels or the, the blankets over the towel wrap like that, I, that's awesome. Awesome. The a toilet. Very nice. So I think that's most of this because it's one of the. Uh, oh, hey. Didn't notice this the first time. Very cute. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, because it's one of the, a lot of musical instruments. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Hey, books! Frostfell housing friend. And the other book doesn't seem to be highlighting at all. Oh, because it's, it's a, whoops. It's the Goblish Stones translation. So that's the only one that's, uh, Okay, anyway, very good job. I'm... I really like this, this entry area. I'm going to come back out here. Because it just, it just adds something to the house, you know? It's, 
It's like a little courtyard that's very secluded and private. And that's awesome. So bravo. Um, thank you for participating in the Retreats of the Rulers. And the best of luck to you.